video it was not a tease i was seriously considering selling big blue but i've decided about or after about a week week and a half however long it's been to keep her and there is plenty that i have in store so i know that last video set some of you on fire i think that you guys were pretty upset that i was contemplating on leaving the trail boss family and jumping to zr2s or the, the ZR2, and then some of you were fully on board, wanted me to join the club, the new ZR2 family, and uh, you know, start fresh. But after thinking long and hard, I will be keeping Big Blue, and I have a lot in store. So if you're new to the page, don't forget to subscribe, and then also don't forget to hit that like button, helps the page tremendously. Uh, what I'm gonna be talking to you today it, or talking to you about today is Big Blue's birthday. Big Blue is one year old as of June 10th. Today is June 13th, so I'm a couple of days late, but I haven't really had the opportunity uh, or the weather to uh, record this. So uh, today it's a beautiful, let's see, 90 degree day. As you can see, I am sweating bullets. So I'm gonna just do a little walk through video, go over hand in hand, or piece by piece, all the installs and mods that I've done to this truck, much like my first video that I made back in September, September 17th of 2021 to be exact. So that was three months after I had uh, purchased Big Blue. So there was a lot on the channel that was done to this truck before I even made or started the YouTube channel. So I will go over that. That was part of my thought process as well with potentially selling, which I'm no longer going to do, um, was starting fresh and allowing you guys all to see a vehicle starting with the mods fresh from day one, seeing the whole buying process. I'd be annoying and have my camera in the dealership uh, showing the new vehicle and all that stuff. That's what I was thinking. But I like what I have in store here. I've thought long and hard about this decision and she is staying like I said so the first thing I did was I canceled my Ram TRX order and I got my Chevy 2021 Chevy Silverado Trail Boss 5.3 liter engine so I did go with the LT as well I forgot to throw that in there the first thing I did since I was saving a little bit of cash from going from a hundred thousand dollar truck down to you know a fifty some thousand dollar truck I went and got the Backflip MX-4. Let me see if I can get that on there. There we go. Tonneau cover. Now the reason I got that is it does sit flush with the bed sides. And it locks at each joint. So as you see here, let me get you in there. That's how it locks. And it's on each and every joint on both sides. So keep your stuff secure. I haven't had any water issues. Now, obviously I need to get some water in here to clean this up, but I haven't had any water issues or anything like that. Love it. It was installed in about 20 to 30 minutes in similar weather to this up in Michigan this time last year. And I was sweating bullets doing so, just like I am now. Now, coming to the tailgate, I already had the black Chevrolet across the back. I already had the black Silverado and the black LT. Since I had those, I wanted to black out the rest. So what I did is I pulled off the exhaust tips and I sanded those down, wet sanded those down and sprayed them, spray painted them with Rust-Oleum high heat, just a matte black, a little offset from the gloss on the, on the bumper. And then I also got the hitch cover and the hitch lock off of Amazon. I'll put all the links for everything below. I covered this in a pre previous video as I did with everything else, but I'm just going a full walk around of the vehicle in no particular order of how they were installed, when they were installed, anything like that. Um, so 
starting from the back, working our way front, and we'll end on the back as well. Back in February, I installed the Nitto Ridge Grapplers, the 35s up a size from the 33s that come stock with the Trail Bosses, and I threw on the Fuel Block 43s, 17 by nine with a negative 12 millimeter offset. Gives it a little bit more of an aggressive stance a lot wider coming out there and it fills that wheel well up pretty good i i could not be happier with these uh there's minimal road noise which i'm actually surprised with these ride probably better than the stock um good years that were on there so couldn't be happier with that uh modification there showed this off in my other videos i think uh, my first video um where I do my first walk around back in September and then also the Chrome delete video, but I got the tr black, the matte black trail boss emblem to go on the back there. Found that on Amazon, relatively cheap. Um, and then over here with the lock buttons on the door handles, I actually disassembled the door handle itself and just vinyl wrapped that myself. Heat gun, vinyl wrap, I think it took me $10 or $10. 10 minutes per side uh, to do. So it's fairly simple, very, fairly easy to, to do. And up here I have two mods. I have the black Z71 also off Amazon and the shorty antenna mass antenna. So that again, off Amazon. Looking underneath here, we have the Ready Lift SST, two inch lift in the front with a one inch block in the rear, which you're not gonna be able to see, but um gives it more of an aggressive stance let me pull you over here much more aggressive stance especially with that that new wheel and tire setup where it fills it up a lot better and a lot more so i did go with the 20 percent window tint as well in the front coming to the front of the vehicle let me pull out the keys here. I went with the Lost Fit LED turn signal. Didn't mean to beat the horn there at us, but oh well, I did so. All right, and then I found the all black bow tie. This is not paint, this is not wrap, this isn't uh, Plasti Dip, anything like that. I found that off of eBay, um, but popped right in, popped right out or old one popped right off, this one popped right in, just like a, a stock one would. So uh, the black Z71 emblem of Amazon and then the 32 inch loss fit light bar behind, LED light bar. So that was it. another install video that I did back in October, I think Halloween timeframe. My daughter had fun getting in that video uh, in her Halloween zombie costume. So she had a good time, but I love it. I have everything lost fit the, from the uh, light bar to the turn signals, which I showed you moment or a little bit ago. And then here in a moment, I'm going to show you in the rear as I start up the vehicle too. Sounds good. I have. You're not going to see it because it's not lit up right now, but the last fit leds on the reverse lights and then also for the license plate lights so last fit the whole way around which i love i like keeping things uniform like that uh, it, it's a good look and it relatively uh easy or easy on the wallet i should say so not too overly expensive so as you heard, whenever I started up, that was just a muffler delete. I don't have a uh, custom exhaust on it yet. I do plan on throwing either long tube or shorty headers on with a full catback exhaust system down the road. This was just temporary. I think it cost me $90 and probably 20 minutes of my time at the local muffler shop uh, to have the old muffler cut out. So let's go under the hood and I will show you everything we got going on under there. Oh, I forgot when you pop the hood and it's only 
remote start or run mode, it'll shut off automatically. So coming under the hood, really dirty under here guys, so I apologize. But coming over behind the throttle body is my air raid throttle body spacer. Again, I found that off of Amazon. Now, a lot of people, I've gotten a lot of good and bad comments on that. Um, some saying that it does stuff and is effective, others saying it doesn't, excuse me. Um, the, uh, those saying that it doesn't, maybe you're right. Uh, it does, you can hear the uh, spiraling of the air filter through the intake and in through the um, throttle body spacer itself. Now it's a little bit different of a sound than coming through your cold air intake. So what it does, all it does is it spirals and speeds up the air coming into the intake manifold. It's supposed to increase that low end torque, uh, increasing your uh, fuel economy ever so slightly and horsepower again, ever so slightly, if any. Um, but uh, I like it, it sounds cool, feels great. I was getting 27 to 28 miles per gallon in this thing up in Michigan at one point. Uh, not so much anymore with the new wheels and tires and the lift set up. So is what it is. I like it. It's good. Fits the truck well. Then I have the cold air inductions. Cold air intake. As you see, a thing needs cleaned. I can't wait to have my own garage. And the Pulsar LT, which is by far my favorite mod. Not only because it shuts off the AFM, the DFM, which sucks on these trucks. I don't even know why it's a thing. Just to make, I don't know, the big wigs happy, I guess. But it, it gets rid of the V8 and the fun out of the V8. So I got the Pulsar LT. It also increases your throttle sensitivity, which I like. And I could adjust it to match the new tire size to the 35s from the stock 33s. So lots of pros in there with the Pulsar LT. And it's an easy mod to do it yourself. Now... One of the mods that I'm, I was unsure about, and still am, is right here, the Stillin Ram Air Intake. All it is is a little scoop that comes down underneath, air filters up through, up and over, and down the intake tube to the cold air intake. So whether it adds anything or does anything, I don't know. It's, if it does, it's very minuscule. It's very hard to tell. So that's everything on the exterior and under the hood. As I said before I hop in the vehicle, a lot has been done to this truck uh, before or was done to this truck before I even started my YouTube channel. I did this all myself. Um, actually, it's the most that I've modified any other vehicle that I've owned. So I'm having a lot of fun with this. But before September... 17th of last year i did a lot to this vehicle before then so i don't have any documents other than or documentation other than what's on my instagram page um i'm looking to do a lot more here in the future but here let's head to the interior i'll show you everything that i did in here so what i did let's go to the door is i wrapped that wood grain look it's cleaned obviously that wood grain look in the carbon fiber. And then I spray painted the chrome black. I wrapped the vents in black the whole way around. This is all matte black wrap. And then added the carbon fiber everywhere else. Now two of my favorite uh, installs, uh, partially because I've never done anything this in depth. Um, never really ripped apart an interior before did this all just watching youtube videos just like you guys are right now and learning are the uh, wireless charging center console and the upfitter switches which continues to be my favorite video or your favorite video i should say on my channel it's the most popular by far it gets the most views most comments but i have the upfitter switches here from 404parts.com and then over here the wireless charging center console so both of those options are um, in the high countries and the LTZs and I thought you know why don't they come standard in the uh, trail bosses I thought that was kind of silly so I added those uh, as of right now I only have 
one button hooked up the auxiliary one but i plan on filling out at least one maybe two more of these in the future i like the stock the clean look the oem look i should say so uh, that's what i was going for there that's why i didn't want to install any other buttons that just were loose and taped onto the dash or anything like that it gives it more of a complete look so that's that uh on the interior and let's see how many miles do i have on big blue let her start up there we go look at that gas mileage it's not the best there 13,987 miles and then here's where I was getting my mileage before I might have been off a little bit 25.6 I think I said 27 but still I was getting great gas mileage in the 25 mile marker 50 miles I was getting 24.1 and then 400 the best I did was 18.7 so I'm getting 15.5 now, probably because I'm sitting in parking lots making YouTube videos and stuff. But uh, all together, guys, that's that's a wrap. This is uh, Big Blue, and uh, thanks for tuning in. I hope you continue to follow. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you give the video a like, a thumbs up. Uh, I have plenty planned here in the near future. I think I have some parts coming in either this weekend or next. Uh, so I look forward to getting that video up as soon as possible. This is a random video that I just thought of, not even midweek, on a Monday. So uh, happy birthday to Big Blue. Uh, get in the comments below, let me know what you like, what you don't like, some of the mods you do and don't like on my truck. Uh, and also give me some recommendations, what you think I should do next. Um, there's a lot that I'm contemplating. And like I said, a lot or a few things that are on the way as well. So as I get ready to move down to uh, San Antonio and get my own garage, I'll be able to do a lot more. So uh, this time next month, hopefully, I'll be settled into my new home with my wife and my daughter finally with me again. And we can, uh, you know, start customizing that garage to make it the dream garage and the home that Big Blue needs. If Big Blue even fits, we'll see. I don't even care. As long as the Camaro and the wife Jeep's the wife's jeep fit i am happy so thanks again guys for tuning in and i'll see you next time